Patrick Mahomes trolled the QB by joking to go up against one of the greatest, if not the greatest, quarterback of all time in his 150th Super Bowl is going to be a great experience. Frank Clark was a bit more blunt, telling reporters, I have nothing to say to him. I'll see his ass on Sunday in the Super Bowl. All this comes after a comment this past summer when Tyreek Hill said Kansas City was going to chase Michael Jordan's championship total. A comment Brady replied to on Twitter saying, totally agree, why not go seven rings? So Shannon, should Brady see any of this as disrespect? Skip, I, I look, <clears throat> I've gotten out of the business of what an uh, athlete or what someone should be as disrespectful, mm. what I might view as disrespectful or a, a shot taking someone taking a shot at, another person might not do it. Skip, and this is what I'm talking about. When you think of six rings, you know who you think about. Who you think about when you hear six rings, Skip? You think Jordan. Tom Brady has six rings, but for whatever reason, they haven't resonated like Michael Jordan's six rings. Maybe it's because he's six and three. I don't know. But when you think six rings, Skip, you think Jordan. And so maybe Tom did take it, take it, take it as a, sw uh, 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 a swipe, as someone mm -hmm. taking a dig at him. Yep. But so and maybe he's motivated that. Like you said, you see LeBron, the little, little thing. The guy was like, maybe that he's saying that was good deep, Torian. But LeBron took it like, oh, you all happy that I missed a shot. Okay, let me sit you down. So maybe that's going to motivate Tom. But I think the thing is, we got to stop this notion. If somebody does not throw a bouquet of roses or heap an olive branch on Tom <laughs> Brady's head, if they're taking shots at him or they're being disrespectful. People are entitled. I mean, Tyreek's like, hey, we tracing Jordan. Because when you hear six rings, for whatever reason, it's never associated with Tom. Maybe because Jordan got the, I mean, Skip, if you think about it, there are a lot of people that got the six rings before Jordan, but there's just something about Jordan rings. Remember I said, like, baseball records are, mm -hmm. are hallowed. The home runs and, 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 and strikeouts and things like that. It's not, it doesn't resonate the same as in mm -hmm. football. So, but for whatever reason, Tom Brady has not gotten, I, I will say this, he has six just like Jordan, but for whatever reason, mm -hmm. people, some people view Jordan's accomplishments greater than Tom Brady's. And... <clears throat> You can judge it however you want to. I just think it's very, very hard when one game can end your season. Jordan, get, you got to beat Jordan four times. So I think it's more difficult uh, uh, to, do with, uh, to do what Tom has done. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, Skip, Tom hasn't gotten the credit for the six rings that he's won. But I don't believe uh, Frank Clark, what was Frank supposed to say? Like Frank said, I ain't got nothing to say. Chase Young was talking about, I want Brady, I want Brady. Frank Clark said, tell him I'll see him on Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday, I'll no, see you. No, he didn't say it that way. <laughs> you know, now, what did he say? I, I see his you-know-what on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, I'll see his you-know-what on Sunday. I see his you-know-what okay. on Sunday. But, Skip, you know, but you know how Frank is. <clears throat> Remember last year, the AFC title game, when he, De Derrick Henry, he's about, Derrick Henry, I'm surprised he hasn't got more yards than that as big as he is. Hell, he should have 2,000 yards when he got 2,000 this year. But anyway, so I, I, Tom Brady might view it as a swipe. I do not, and um, we got to just be careful that every time somebody doesn't say something glowing about a person, they're taking a shot at them. All right. I interpret all three of these instances as shots at Brady because I believe he will interpret them as shots. Okay. Maybe he's Jordan-esque in that he, he oversees shots at him as, as personal. He views Jordan, all things as not yeah, positive as a negative. Right. Because Jordan actually... He fabricated. Yes. He, he would fabricate a slight. I, I always tell the Calipari story when he was just angry, pointing at Calipari in a game at New Jersey against the Nets, a playoff game. And Jordan was, he was goat that night. And I asked him after the game, what do you have against Calipari? He said, I don't even know him. He said, I just don't like the way he walks up and down in front of the bench, how he prances up and down. Okay, well, well, that's just perceiving something in somebody <laughs> just to motivate yourself until right. you get mad about that. So LeBron won't, Le LeBron needs it to actually happen yes. to get mad, but Jordan would make it up until he finally decided, I got to get even with that guy, even if it's just fabricated. LeBron believes that everybody is good until you prove otherwise. Jordan believes everybody is bad until you prove okay. otherwise. So to me, Tom Brady doesn't, look like an assassin. He doesn't look like some right. badass quarterback who's going to get even with you. Right. He looks like the, the lame, cliched dad down the street or next yep. door. Yep. So he comes in a different package. But what I've learned over many years of closely observing Brady is you, you better be careful with what you say before games because the, the, the littlest perceived slight will become 
massive in his mind by kickoff. And you, you just better be careful with this guy because he can be a force of nature in games of this magnitude, like a championship game or certainly a Super Bowl, if he decides that that you have little to no respect for him. Well, Skip, considering that Brady's won, what, 33, 34 playoff games, there have been a lot, there's a lot of games. Nobody said anything. He went out there and kicked their ass. Okay, so, I got <laughs> it. I got it. But this is another Super Bowl with a team that mo most of which has not been there, most of whom has not been correct. there. Correct. And he, he needs some reason to take it up one more level. Skip, they beat the brakes off you. You know, you 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 got you got yeah, to the same thing. New I Orleans. That's you, true. Okay. New Orleans didn't need to say anything. He like y'all beat me twice. Y'all think All I'm right. done? Okay, I'm gonna show you. Okay, but this is what I'm starting to see in the Kansas City Chiefs, and and I respect to to the highest degree Andy Reid. I think he's a good man, but he he loves to pour it on. He loves his trick plays. He loves his red zone inside the five. You better look out because and, and he even tried one. Remember <laughs> at Tampa Bay, as I call it. He, he tried some trick pass play from to Kelsey to, 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 to Mahomes, and it didn't work. And it cost them four points in that right, game because right. they had to kick a field goal. Right. Remember that? Yes. Okay, so he, he loves to, on the biggest stage, say, watch this, and to reprove some of his offensive And remember they ran, they ran it through a pass to, to uh, Mahomes down the field in another game, giving up they said right. the Watkins through it. That's who they are. <laughs> I, I really love Patrick Mahomes, all, all of his talent. I, I think he's a good kid, but he's becoming a cocky kid to me. And I don't know why, in several references that I've heard, that he has to say he's one of the best, if not the best. Because, come on, we, we, we know who the best is. Yeah, this is what I know. On my podcast, I've interviewed some, I, Chris Tucker. I did mm -hmm. Chris Tucker, J.B. Smooth. I interviewed some of the rappers. But they don't put their contemporaries on Mount Rushmore, a GOAT. He said... Uh, I was talking to Tucker, and I was like, well, you know, he's like Richard Pryor and, 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 and Red Fox and Bernie Mac. And I said, well, what, what about Chappelle? He's like, he's my contemporary. I can't put him there. Same thing. A lot, a lot of guys, Skip, there's less a contemporary. And if you notice, Skip, a lot of contemporary, they're like, nah, 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 nah. They go back. So I'm playing with a guy. You, they didn't look. Jordan was great, but nobody at the time, Magic wasn't saying he's the greatest player. He's the best player currently playing. But he's not the greatest player. Nobody said that until afterwards. So you don't heap that kind of praise on a contemporary. You would see that as a weakness. You mean to tell me that you believe somebody is better than uh, you? No, nah, Mahomes said, look, he's, he's the greatest, if not one of the greatest. Okay, he's not the greatest right now, Skip. Tom Brady is old enough to be his father. He, he, okay. But let me, he, yeah, let me ask you a question, Skip. Do you believe right now Tom Brady is a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes right now? Uh, in a big game with all the money pushed them. All right, I'll it, take him. Yeah. I'll take him right now. I get, I get I'll take him. Is he a better quarterback throughout okay. the so from tw the 2020 season? Was Tom Brady a better quarterback than Patrick Mahomes? Okay. Has are, he played Are, are we better? talking about skills competition or are we talking about performance? I'm saying performance. Okay. If, if This is just me, but I look at it differently than you do. I'll take him because his degree of difficulty was so much higher than Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has the two best receivers in pro football and Tyreek and Kelsey, and he's been that's with them pro, into his fourth year. That's not year. what pro football focus said. At the beginning of the season, pro football focus okay. said Chris Godwin and Mike Evans were the best two receivers in football. The pro Bowl? I'm just saying, I'm, no, pro, 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 pro that, that was off last year's performance. So pro off football, last year. Okay. But off this year, they did not perform at that level because Brady taught them how to win, and you're not going to get the sugar as much as you got it right. from Jameis. We're going to have to spread the wealth. We're going to have to run it a little more. We're going to have to be a little more careful with the football. So, again, it took Brady saying, I on the prize, not on the Pro Bowl. But, Skip, but that, you, they didn't have any Pro Bowlers but, but on offense. You, but it's not, that, they didn't have one. If you look at the receivers, Skip, Brady doesn't normally send receivers. Other than Randy Moss and Wes Welker, mm -hmm. he hasn't had a receiver. The only tight end is gone has been Gronk. So his offense is really not conducive because, like you said, he does spread the ball around, but his running backs do okay. all the, you know, do a lot of the catching. Where in this offense, it's all about Tyreek, it's all about Kelsey. All right. So Clark. He's got a pretty big mouth, but he backs it up. He's yeah. a good player. Yeah. You, you don't say, I'll see his, I'm just going to say the word, I'll see his ass in the Super what Bowl. You, what you supposed to say? Oh, Tom Brady, I'm so afraid show, of Tom Brady. Show a little bit of respect to a guy who's going to his 10th I Super wish Bowl. I might. Yeah. I would, let me get out. I'm going to show you how much respect I'm going to show for him. Let me get my hands on him. Okay, good.
Love it. Say that publicly. It's just, you, you should think that privately. You should not say Skip, this publicly. All he said was, I'll see his ass on Sunday. When will they ever learn? That's been my point all along about that guy, number 12. Let's think about it. When Devin Bush, with Devin Bush, when Devin White said last week, Green Bay had no business on the damn field with them. That you was just, right after they had beaten them 38 to 10. Yes. 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 You ain't say nothing about that when you, Devin, you might have to see this team again. Show some respect. You didn't say that. Mm. Okay. Well, did Aaron take it to heart? It didn't seem to motivate.